for me um it's mostly about decisions i yeah i don't feel any any um preference for one option it's it's just um uh fear maybe to to choose the wrong or something that will hurt yeah you do have a natural preference it's just shadowed by the fear yeah it is i think so then they just you just keep needing to explore what's at the root of that fear maybe suffering fear of suffering I, I, I would say that the root of it is the fear that um, that you're alive, that you can take it slowly down in steps. So when you come across that decision, you can just be honest with yourself about the decision that you're afraid of and then just keep being more and more honest because they won't like me, because I'll be alone, because I'll be moneyless, because I'll be kicked out of society, because I will die. And when you get to because I will die, you know that you're afraid of being alive because you're not ultimately who you truly are, can't live or die. And so to die means that you are alive, but you're not. Alive, you say alive? Yeah, but you're not. You're not alive and you can't die. This instrument isn't alive. What is alive and looking now is that boundless freedom. This instrument is like a microphone. The microphone doesn't hear, it's us that hears from the speakers. It's an instrument. It's an instrument. <laughs> so this is an instrument, it's like a microphone or a camera. And it's not the camera that sees and it's not the microphone that hears. So right now, what is it that hears and sees? Nothing, maybe. No, yeah, not a thing, yeah. Or you could say everything. Or everything. So you say the root, um, Root fear is to die, which is an illusion. Yeah. You cannot die because you've never been alive. Isn't that beautiful? If, if this could only be known, always, <laughs> always be known. It is always known. But you're looking for that knowing in thought. But it's not present. It is present. It's the only thing that's ever been present. It... It's right it's here. shadowed. It's shadowed because you're looking for the answer in what you know. It's in what you don't know. I, for example, have to decide between two flats now. Yeah. Um, but I don't really see that this um, the the um, uncertainty which one I want to choose. Um, I can't trace down to the fear of death. To be honest. It's more like I'm a fear to have to suffer in the end, that I don't like the flat, that I blame myself, things like this. Okay, so just go into that feeling. Do you feel that feeling in your body? Oh yeah, I do. Where about heart? My in heart, heart. Is, is like like pain. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you you um so this, this feeling comes from the sense that you will not be loved. If you suffer, you will not be loved. 
if you pick the wrong thing, there's something wrong with you and that you will experience pain from it and that you're not loved. That's why it hurts in the heart area. I'm not, I'm not loved. I, it, it's not clear to me. I, I let it sink in. So we can work through it. So, so um, if you just shut your eyes, yeah. and just think of both of the flats. Yeah. And what happens if you pick the wrong one? I will have to blame myself. And what's wrong with I blaming think. yourself? Oh, blaming hurts very much. It's it's like I'm in a deep black hole then. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit like and self what do you what do you blame yourself about? Like in what way? You say that you're a failure? Um maybe some years ago I I insulted myself but in in the meanwhile it's more energetical but maybe I say um what do I say to myself? Um shouldn't have done this why have you done this you idiot or okay some other yeah insult it's completely completely based on illusion i i know yeah but so you've still. you've hurt yourself yeah and it's your fault and therefore you're a bad person there's something wrong with you this yeah. is, I'm just going yeah, with what totally, you think. Yeah, totally, totally, yes, yeah. So there's something wrong with you. And what's, yeah. what's the issue with there being something wrong with you? What's underneath that, if there's something wrong with you? I shouldn't be wrong. But what, 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 does, what does it take away if there's something wrong with you? With you? What it takes, love. It takes love yeah. away. This is... Basically, if there's something wrong with you, then you can't be loved. You By who? By anyone. It's just a habit that you've got into. Basically, you fear being rejected by everybody. I know it sounds really weird, but if you have the story that there's something wrong with you, then you're isolated from others, or you're isolated from love. Yeah. And so really what your biggest hurt is if you get the flats wrong is that you're not good enough to be loved. That no one will ever love you. And this is where seeking comes and this is where I say be honest. Because it's not really the flat that you're interested in or getting the right flat. It's that you're not lovable and that you've got to prove that you're lovable by making the right choices. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why it hurts and causes you contraction to you go there and you just feel fear. And really, when you go into the two beatings, one will bring you more pleasure than the other. When you drop all that fear and drop the illusion, and you just pick that one. That's the guide. Not any reason, or oh, this is easier, that's easier, this is easy. It's just that there'll be one that brings more pleasure than the other. But, but the thing is, is that's not based when you're feeling separate, because when you're feeling separate, you're often the illusion of looking for love in time. This is the addiction of all separate persons. It's oh, like yeah. trying to get love and trying to get away from fear. So oh, just yeah. always honesty, like trying to trace back where it comes from, but not too intellectually, and then seeing where you feel it in the body, that the heart area hurts, and just let it hurt and burn. And see that how many times you've acted that out before like with yourself or feel it from when you were younger as well. You'll have done that. So it's a pain that is rooted in my early childhood, mm. you think? It comes with, when separation happens, we identify, we have two initial feelings that arise. And these feelings are important. Like it's important to have all feelings as a human being. But we identify with two major feelings, and that is fear that this world is going to hurt us, 
So we identify with fear of being a separate person that's in relationship with a big, huge, wide world out there. Mm -hmm. And we identify strongly with love mm -hmm. because we separated and we feel like this love, this unconditional love has been taken slightly. As a child, it's not taken wholly, like there's still a knowing of it. But there's a sense, there's also the sense that love has been away abandoned or that this love has been taken so then what happens is because we identify strongly with these two emotions then we get into the pattern of trying to always seek for security and seek for love and you know this is why people do such difficult jobs why they make themselves sick by working why people do terrorist acts is actually motivated not by the circumstances they were found in but by strong identification with these two emotions of seeking for love and trying to avoid mm. fear. But these things, you know, it's important to have them. So it's important to have a natural interest in being loved by other humans and wanting connections with other humans, but the separate self over identifies with them. And it actually leads to a lot of suffering because by seeking for these two, this safety and um, love and being obsessed about it, not even conscious it's obsessed about it, what it actually does is it encourages it. it. encourages this feeling of feeling unstable and insecure, and it encourages the feeling of feeling lack of love. So what happens in separate people is over time, these two feelings grow and grow more and more in the people, in those people. And so then eventually people begin to get into spirituality because it begins to hurt. Some people it hurts quite young already. They're more sensitive and they can feel that discomfort. And there's nothing, I'm not saying in any way, stop seeking for these two things. I'm just pointing out the dynamic. While you feel separate, in a way, you have to seek for these things. Like, um, mm. if you try and stop seeking for them, what you'll do is you'll make that body-mind depressed. <clears throat> or you'll identify with, I can't get it. It's pointless. I'll never get there. <laughs> So it's in, it's rooted in the fear of not being loved or feeling loved. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why you get so tense over it. And just from learning that many times, you know, as a kid feeling stressed about this and it just being oh, yeah. encouraged and encouraged. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so it's now you, you've got a fear of it. And so therefore you can't naturally choose. You're choosing through the lens of I'm going to make a mistake or an over emphasized fear of it. But, you know, the fear and wanting love from people is a very natural feeling and that's not got to go. But you've just got to see when you're trying to find wholeness there, when you're trying to find completion there, that's when it's the problem. Like I would still, I still prefer to be liked by people than to be hated. I prefer peace rather than um, disharmony with people. But... Um, I don't think that that's going to complete me anymore by having peace, but my efforts will be to have peace. Uh, yours as a as a awakened being in quotation. Uh, I I don't really want to call myself an awakened being. I just, in quotations. I, in quotations. In quotations or not, I am as I am. <laughs> So you don't look for love anymore? I Mildly, but not as a completion. It doesn't complete me. But, okay, okay, yeah. You know, if I'm with a friend or with a lover, I much prefer them liking me than disliking me. Mm -hmm. And so there will be an effort to convince them to like me if they don't like me or to whatever it is, but at the same time, it's not, it can't complete you. Nothing in this world can complete you. Your completion mm -hmm. is that love, that essence that's never found in things.
But for me, also, yeah. For me, it feels like more like uh, running away of of pain than looking for completion. But maybe it's both. It's kind of really similar. Yeah. So yeah, trying to run away from pain. It sometimes feels better actually looking for love and running away from pain. You know, if you're looking for love, you think you're just about to get it, they're just around the next corner. Oh, but that can also be really painful as well. Okay, Lisa, thank you Thanks, very much Sebastian. for your excourse. Yeah, nice to speak with Thanks. you again. You, thank you. you brought some light into my patterns. Um, nice. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. <laughs>